All right, so this is a Pavel Pickle, but with the Mobula 8 parts. Personally, I prefer Happy Model hardware a little bit more than Beta FPV hardware, as I do think they offer a smoother flying experience. It might be slightly more durable in a sense, but I also like the design of the frame of the Beta FPV Pavel Pickle. So if you cannot decide between the Pavel Pickle or Mobula 8, then you might just wanted to build this and call it a Pickle Bula. It has the Pavel Pickle frame, but all Mobula 8 powertrain system. So theoretically, you're getting the best combination of both hoops. If you want to see how it was built, the link is going to be right there. Go check it out. But in this video, I will be showing you how to set it up, how to bind it. And lastly, we will do a flight test. Let's go. All right, let's quickly go over the specs. The frame is a Pavel Pickle frame, which I wanted from the Beta FPV Facebook giveaway, and this is the main reason that inspired this build. The flight controller is a Happy Model Crazy F405 EOLR SAIO, which has a serial-based EOLRS receiver and a 12 amp EFC, which is good for about 2S. Do know you will need to mount the board sideways. You can see that this is the bottom, this is the front, so I'm mounting it sideways in order for the motor plugs to be accessible. So later on, we will have to adjust the direction of the board later in beta flight, but I will show you. And the motors are going to be the Happy Model 1102 13,500 kV motors, which has this, which this has the same kV count for the beta FPV OEM motors. The props are GenFan 45 millimeter props, also same as the beta FPV one. Do know you will need to get the one that is 1.5 meter meter shaft, not the one, one meter meter, as one meter meter will not fit. Also, since this is a pusher configuration, you have to make sure you install your props with the front side facing up like this. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we had a Codex Vista Nebula mounted for the FPV system. This is compatible with DJI. By the way, this is a 2S setup and my average flight time with the 452S, it's about three to four minutes. Okay, so the dry weight without the LiPo is going to bring this quad to about 69 grams. And with the added 450 tattoo high vol lipo on top of it, it's going to give the weight to about 96, 97 grams, which is yeah dropping up and down. All right, so done with the specs. Next, let's go set everything up in beta flight. Okay, at beta flight, you're gonna connect your quad and you're going to the configuration tab. And since I already set it up, I'm just gonna ask you to set it, add it up as the yaw degree to 90 and the clockwise to zero right here and then you're going to hit save and reboot and you're going to connect it again okay so next we have successfully changed the orientation of the board and it's right now correct but the problem right now is our motors are still stuck in the original position so we have to go to the motors tab and you let's just do a quick test so you know what's going on so you can just pay attention to this little icon here so technically number four should be this one and number one should be this one and number two should be this one but let's just do a quick test to see what is the orientation right now so i'm going to raise up number one so theoretically this one should spin but just see what happens okay okay so you can see that number three is actually spinning and if we go to use number three it's going to go to number four and if we touch number two it is at number one so everything is messed up so normally what i will be able to do is i can just use the record the reorder motor function and we should be able to set it up but you can see that for this particular quad i don't know why is it not working but no problem all you have to do is go to copy the text i'm going to provide you in the description you're just going to copy this so you can go to the cli file and you can just paste it and you're going to press enter and let's go back to the motors tab this should fix the problem okay so number one okay number one is right there number two right there number three right there number four okay so we have fixed the problem so this should be good to go all right done with the basics now let's go to binder quad before we begin the binding process, I want you to know this particular F405 board has a serial-based EOLRS receiver, not a SPI-based EOLRS receiver. So we're going to flash everything via Wi-Fi, and we're going to use the Express OS configurator to set everything up. So let's go. Okay, so to bind this quad, we are going to be using a binding phrase to do so, because 
yeah, it just makes smiting so much easier. And I'm going to show you how to do it when you flash it. Since you're going to flash it, might as well set it up. Okay, so at the Express OS configurator, you are going to select the release as 3.21, as I like to select the not so recent updates because I know most likely it's going to work instead of trying out the new one. I like to use them, but you can do it. You can use the new one if you want. Okay, so targets, we're going to you go to Happy Model 2.4 gigahertz. And then the device, you're going to select the EP24000RX. Make sure you select this one, not this one, okay? So flashing method, Wi-Fi. And next is where we are going to set up our binding phrase. So my binding phrase on my TX right now, my radio, it's going to be 654321. You can set up anything you like as long as it matches. When we flash our receiver, this is going to be also built into your receiver. So you don't have to uh, insert it again. And after we're done, hit build. Okay, so once the firmware has been built, a separate window is going to pop out and you are going to select the Happy Model EP21 as this is the one you are going to use. And it's going to save for somewhere you can find it easily. I'm just going to save it at download. Next, you are going to power up your quad by plugging in the USB cable again. And this time we're going to force it into Wi-Fi mode. So we're going to connect the Wi-Fi of the ELRS and flash it via Wi-Fi. Once the light start flashing very rapidly, you're going to go into your Wi-Fi. We are going to find Express LRSRX and you're going to hit connect. And if you ask any password, your password is going to be Express LRS all lowercase. All right, so you can see that our firmware is currently at 3.01, but I we're going to flash it to 3.12 or something. Okay. What we're going to do is you are going to go to updates you might yours might look a little bit different but the terminology is the same just go find where you can update stuff you're going to, to basically find this icon and you're going to choose file and we are going to go to downloads and i'm going to select the file we just built and you're just going to hit update all right, update successful. So we are going to power up our quad using the USB cable again. This time we are going to go to beta flight at the receiver tab to see if we actually make the connection. And I'm going to bring my radio TX12, TX16 actually. And we, as soon as I power it on, these things should automatically bind. Okay, we're going to connect to beta flight and you're going to go to the receiver tab. And at the receiver tab, when you move your stick, you can see that they have been bounded together. So this is a perfect setup. So I don't know why this is saying spectrum. It should be crossfire. Let me see. This is so weird. All right, save and reboot. Okay. All right. Okay. And the modes, let's see. Arm switch, mode switch. Okay, everything's working. Next, we will be talking about the tuning I slap on this thing. This is my pit tune, and basically this is whatever it came as the Mobula 8. So from all Mobula quads, generally most of them are going to say it's going to cause like fly away, but in general it's fine. But do this at your own risk. You can pause by yourself to copy the numbers and the settings. All right, so we have finished the setup for the Pico Bula, and we can finally go fly. However, if you think that the setup is too much and you just don't want to do it and don't have the time to do it, you can email me and I will send you my preset so you can just load it directly in your Pico Bula. All right, let's go fly this and I will share my thoughts about this and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so the image is coming from the DJI OSD with the Vista Nebula Pro camera. The footage is obviously much better compared to analog video, but for me, this is still not enough to be used as good quality cinematic footage-ish purpose. So if you are thinking about building one of this, I would still suggest go with the DJI O3 unit. Anything below O3 kind of defeats the purpose as you need to mount additional action camera to get better quality footage. And most likely the Thumb Pro or the 360 might be the only choice due to the weight. As for the flying characteristic, I would say this is a very good cinematic cruiser for indoor and outdoors when there is no wind. So as Happy Model generally has pretty good default tuning, using their hardware and tune does seem to generate a smoother flying experience. But since I never tried the actual Pavel Pico, I cannot tell you which one is better. As for who this drone is for, 
for the nature and the design I believe this is not built to take constant impact and collisions I will say this is a more for a intermediate or above pilot that already has a good sense of flying and want like a little pocket drone that they can film when they are just out there for beginners I will still recommend getting the Mobula 7 it is much more cheaper and more durable and you get to crash a lot without breaking the bank all right so here is all i have to say if you have additional questions of this build let me know in the comment section and i will see you next time bye